Hello everyone, welcome back to Good Draw Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Asus ROG Ally controller or joystick is not working, how you can fix this up. So whenever you are trying to pair this up, whenever you are trying to play the game with the controller or joystick, you are having a lot of issue. So we are going to talk about how we can fix this up. So the first one is all about we need to clean the controller and that is what we have to do. So in the same way you can try this for a joystick as well. So if you're using the controller over here you can also do the same. You just need to clean the controller and that is what you have to do. Because sometimes you know dirts might be filled up with it, debris might be filled up with it. Which is actually one of the reason why the controllers are not working. So what we need to do is we just need to do a clean, clean it. So you can use uh, you know very soft cottons like this which can be used over here like this. You can clean using this particular one. You can do a complete cleaning over here in the controller of the Steam, sorry, on the Asus ROG Ally. So if you're using the joystick, you can do the same. You can just clean the surfaces of the joystick. You can uh, clean it properly and even depends on the controllers over here. You can clean it mildly because if the debris are there, you can see even there are some dust particles are there. Just so just remove everything from here. You can remove everything. And once you successfully removed everything, you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about nothing but we have to do is we just need to sometimes if you're using the joystick, you know what you need to do is one of the main reason uh, might be some kind of miscommunication. So we just need to turn it off the joystick and you have to on, or turn on it once again or you have to pair it once again and see whether the issue is solved or not. This happens for many of these in the same way so you can try this out. Next one apart from this is all about if you are having still the issue with this one that is all about you have to check the, the battery uh, enough battery is there for both the controllers and joysticks so you have to check your side so if they are going through any kind of battery outages issue you will be having the issue. So if the controllers are completely used up, the battery is up so that it will be disconnected from the uh, Asus ROG Ally. So you have to cross check whether they are going through any kind of, you know, the battery is completely used up. So you have to check whether they, they are having enough battery or not. Next one apart from this is all about we have to cross check the USB cable and port. This is very important. So when it comes to the controller, uh, as you can see, if you for the joystick, you have to check. The USB ports should be clean and it should be working fine. So if you are having a trouble or the USB ports over here is completely damaged, you will not be able to pair this up. So it is quite important that you have to make sure the USB port in the joystick or controller is working. In the same way, wherever you are trying to pair this up, you might be pairing it somewhere else here. So you have to cross check whether this particular one is working fine as well. Or if they are going through, they are damaged completely or if they are going through any kind of issues when they are trying to connect it. You try to connect it with the joystick fine. And but you try to connect it over here or insert over here, you are, <coughs> you are having the trouble because it is not working. So if this is not working then you will be having the trouble so you have to cross check whether that is not working fine as well. They are all fine and that is so you will not be having the issue. Last and the least one is all about you tried using the controller as well as you tried using the joystick and if it's still it's not working you have to talk to the contact the ASUS support you have to talk to them book an appointment with the technician they're gonna help you guys out. So these are the possible workaround which can be done when you're having an issue and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.